I really like this game, 1809. Um, I've uh, been playing it for a few days now, and I wanted to try and uh, film a bit of it to give you guys some idea about it. Even though I'm having terrible trouble with my camera, it just can't handle the heat, and it keeps uh, conking itself out. But anyway, let's try. So um, I'm on the fourth turn of uh, the uh, campaign game, and... Um, I, I wanted to illustrate the exciting situation at the beginning of the campaign. Um, you see, we're, we're, uh, everything's going on here at the moment. Um, you have the uh, French supply source and their centre of operations here. Um, you have the French in blue and the Austrians in town. The Austrian Archduke Charles is here. Uh, Napoleon now is here. I've just finished the French term. Um, and the Austrian uh, supply route goes all the way back here. That's what's called the dispatch distance to its centre of operations. And its supply source is here. Back here uh, is Vienna. So you can see what a long way um, we have to go. If in fact we need to go, because what I think I think is particularly great about this game is that the Austrians have a real chance to win right at the beginning. Essentially, if um, Archduke Charles or in fact any of his force can uh, win a major battle, um, take Regensburg, a fortified town, off the French, and um, move Archduke Charles plus 20 strength points or more off the board via this road, they win the game provided the French haven't um, done a few other things, such as also win a, uh, a significant battle. Um, but So the Austrians actually have a really good chance because they're in quite a strong position. The French are still coming on and etc, uh, etc. Et what do we have here? So um, th there's a lot of interesting stuff as well, because, for, for instance, um, because the Austrians won a pitched battle quite early, um, their morale goes up, which means this uh, French unit here, which is commanded in, by Lefebvre, how do you pronounce that? Lefebvre, I'm not sure. They are actually uh, Saxon units, um, and they have started wavering, so, th so he, they, they will not move. All of these um, uh, units are out of action for the French at the moment. They will defend themselves, but they can't be counted on. So you see um, the Archduke Charles has that in his benefit. It, it, also the fact that he's right up close to the supply line, the centre of operations helped, because we had Hillier, um, Hiller down, down here, um, previously was threatening the French supply lines. He moved back... Um, in his last turn, and uh, Massena um, zoomed over, joined up with Udino, who, who had been deployed to guard this area, and have just fought him back. Although he took a retreat, uh, Massena just took some losses and could not follow up. Um, uh, we had Bessuries, who was uh, here, um, pushed back um, this major general. So the French are trying to create a safe zone, and we had uh, Napoleon um, force his way across the river here and push back this major general. Who um, another exciting point was that um, Bellegarde, uh, this uh, uh, French general, had uh, just arrived from here um, a turn or so ago, and. Uh, uh, because of the situation, he, he detached a major general here with a very... Uh, bolstered his force to guard the bridge here, moved himself over here to um, pass this pontoon bridge which he brought on over to help um, Archduke Charles um, zoom over here if, as this bridge had previously been destroyed by the French, so um, making things difficult for Colorat up there. Um, but Archduke Charles and uh, some of his generals had been threatening Davout. They, in fact, they kind of cornered him against the Danube here. So uh, th this bridge was ordered repaired, and Davout's trying to make his move out here 
to escape back because he, he can't stay there. You can only have 10 strength points in a fortified town um, at any one time. Um, so he, he had a choice of either defending or attacking from without or as he's made it now, they've repaired the bridge, he can, he can pass through. Um, so Napoleon and his forces are hard pressed and the Austrians are enjoying some successes and uh, can see an opportunity for a victory. Um, uh, you, you can see the game requires extra markers. These are, that one's just to remind me that they can't move, the wavering Bavarians. These markers indicate uh, generals who are out of dispatch distance, so they can only move on, on initiative rolls. And um, uh, we have uh, Maximilian who just arrived down here, from all the way over here previously. Um, this is the situation we have. It's the Austrians are going to take their turn. Disappointed that the Napoleon forced the river there. He had a, a very good roll um, against quite a strong force. Uh, so that, that was lucky. Um, but still, uh, now this has opened. Um, potentially, uh, Charles could take this fortification. Um, uh, before Davout can get there, and then he's got two routes over. He's got Napoleon to contend with, but well, we, we can see what happens. Um, and of course, if he if he takes this turn, then that opens up communications to here, except that Davout's in the way of his line of communication. I don't know, he could trace his communications along here, I guess, but that's quite... Uh, that, those are not major roads, they might not be so possible. Um, yeah, so... Uh, exciting, um, an exciting situation and lots of choices and possibilities to make. I've listed the extents of um, the uh, dispatch distance, so dispatch distance actually gets this far. If Rat could just get enough, enough initiative to move over here, he'll be able to be ordered um, by uh, administration points. Um, but he only has an initiative of two which you don't roll that often on a, or below on a d6. And what else can I say? Yeah, I was interested, I hadn't noticed before that um, uh, only, how many strength points? Only three infantry strength points can attack out of a uh, mountain. So originally I had Bessaries and there's a uh, cavalry defending on the mountain thinking that would be a good defensive position. But actually it's better to defend on the other side so you can make good use of terrain. Um, the, uh, uh, the woods slow people down, so you can use them on your flanks and so forth. Um, okay, I don't think I'd better say any more, because my phone will probably conk out in a minute. But I think that's all I wanted to say about gain of 1809.